I love the RV lifestyle because it just, it provides some freedom for us and it's a less stressful way of travel. It slows us down, it makes us enjoy where we're at and not always be rushing trying to get to the next place. It's just a way to keep yourself still out in nature because you don't have to go back to a hotel or a house. We can get back from a hunt and we can clean our game here, cook it up, invite our friends to have a little campfire out the front and we're still under the stars. I'm Zach Phillips. And I'm Mary O'Neill Phillips and this is Forrest Gump. We film an adventure tour on the Outdoor Channel and we use the camper for our home base. One of my biggest tips is when you're shopping for your RV, look at a lot of campers. And if you are into the outdoors and you love power sports, I would definitely look at a toy hauler. It doubles as a garage. Also, we can get ready in the mud room and we don't have to drag anything into the actual house part of the camper. If I wear muddy boots in the house, I get yelled at. That's true, you get yelled at. We decided to get into RVing because we were always traveling. We're going to hunting camps across the country and it just seemed like it would really simplify things for us. We have all our gear with us. We have our own space. We can have our dog. You gonna come hunt like mommy? If anything, it taught me how little we need. Yeah. I don't feel like I need to go home. I'd rather just be here most of the time. The best way to maximize storage space for a hunting trip is to plan effectively. Take what you need and leave the rest at home. Clothing, boots, Obviously our weapon and snacks. A lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. Zach and I hunt similarly, but also very differently. I like to have a coffee on me. I really like to sit there and enjoy it and be cozy. And Zach, on the other hand, is very serious. Most mornings are spent with me sitting in the truck, waiting on her while she's in the camper, packing up, getting ready for the hunt, because she takes way too much stuff. Well, hunting doesn't have to be so serious <laughs> and boring. It doesn't. Yeah, but so for all you ladies out there that want to get into it, hit me up on Instagram and I'll tell you all the tips. I can teach you how to sit still in the tree stand and not eat snacks all day. Whatever. Just I still got a big deal last year. <laughs> we used to think that the RV lifestyles were just for when you retire, but we've met so many young people staying in different parks that have taken their family and their life on the road as well, and it's really great. We've only been RVing for a little under a year now, and one thing I would say is just don't be intimidated by it. If we could figure it out, I think most people probably can. It is for everybody. We spend a lot of time out in the middle of nowhere, and we tend to see a lot of things that other people just don't, and I don't know if they realize what they're missing out on. When we come back after a hunt and the sun's dropping down, it's, it's really beautiful, and you just don't get that anywhere else.